Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 d Status Accelerator. In the last part, we dueled Hild, Hild over here and lost because his stall deck took advantage of the fact that I completely forgot how to actually duel on that day due to being horribly ill. I'm still pretty ill, but I do now know how to duel. I do remember how to duel because I don't remember how it works. Let's do it. Draw! Hmm. Come on. Do some things. Okay, okay. Let's draw. Okay, Dust Tornado. Well, that's definitely something that I should put face down. Uh, what next? Ghost Gardener. In defense mode. I don't want to risk. Uh, I don't want to risk attacking until. Well, I just don't want to risk attacking right now. Swords, lovely. Doesn't matter to me. I can get rid of it when he, when he, when the other, whenever I want to. Bup, 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 bup. <laughs> Come on, draw. Mecha money. Mecha Bunny, face down defense mode. Do look at all his face downs. Boop, 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 boop. Did you affect monster on the field? Sure, doesn't matter to me. There's only 1500 life points. Flamble Archer. Mecha Bunny deals you 500 damage as well, so doesn't matter too much to me. <laughs> I've never really paid attention to my life point counter. As long as it's above zero, it doesn't matter too much to me. Volcanic Counter. That's a tuner. Synchro Summon, Flamville. Yurkizas. 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. During battle between this attack card and defense mode, piercing damage. It has piercing damage and it gains 300 t attack points for every time it inflicts battle damage to me. 2100 defense points. That's not fun. I activate Ghost Gardener. Hmm. I can't use it. Ghost Gardener forces its. Uh, yeah. Ghost Gardener forces all uh, monsters, or can force all monsters to target it. And its ability reduces the attack of a monster by a thousand for one turn when it's destroyed. So, let's draw. Hmm. I play Compulsory Evacuation Device face down, and Kuno with Chain face down, and then I'll summon Toon Warrior in attack mode. And then I will tune my. Toon Warrior with my Mecha Bunny to summon Magical Android in attack mode. Magical Android has 2400 attack points and gives me 600 life points every turn for each psychic type monster on the field. Magical Android is now going to give me some life points which is going to basically make all of your efforts a lot harder. You're gonna you're gonna have to try a lot harder to to, to make, give me some some uh, sticking damage. One heavy storm would make this would make this uh, fight far easier. Let's draw. Drag down. Okay, I'll use that. Drag down into the grave. This card allows me to choose a card in your hand. To disc and force you to discard it. Heavy Storm's a powerful card, but I don't have any any uh, face downs that I don't mind losing. He probably does though. I force Dimension Wall down. You're, you've you've gotten rid of my uh, my uh, Dark Magician, given me Gigantic Cephalotus. Go. Cephalotus in attack mode. That'll do for now. 
because I can't attack due to swords. Next turn I will though. <laughs> Life points please. Yay. Next turn I'll tribute my Cephalotus for Prime Material Dragon. At least that's my plan at the moment. And it will say it should stay on the field because of uh, well, because of this. Kunai with chain. I will activate both effects, forcing your monster into defense mode and equipping my magical android with Kuno with chain, boosting its attack points by 500. And there's the mystical space typhoon. That's okay. I don't mind. It's whittling down your face downs. <laughs> Let's dr draw ancient gear knight. Now. Mm -mm -mm. Card effects. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do as I planned and tribute gigantic Cephalotus to summon Prime Material Dragon in attack mode. Now I activate the compulsory evacuation device trap card, forcing your Flamvel monster back into your extra deck and then I activate the dust tornado trap card allowing me to destroy one of your face down cards I'm going for the one in the middle of the left that's a dimension wall good I chose correctly now let's try this that's a mirror force I'm going to activate the effect of prime material dragon now I can discard a card from my hand and cancel out and destroy the effect, uh, any effect that would destroy a mo destroy monsters, any number of monsters. It's a bit like a, a monster version of the uh, of destruction jammer, which makes it very nice indeed. Prime material dragon, direct attack. <laughs> Volcanic counter. Ooh. Yay! He just gave me life points. Volcanic counter. When I take, when you take battle damage while this card is in your graveyard, removed from play. Then, if there is a fire monster other than volcanic counter in your graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the amount of battle damage you took. <laughs> well, that's fun. You just healed me for a large amount. And now I'm getting more life points. I'm at 10,500. I'm winning by a mile. Well, by <laughs> 5,400 actually. 5,400 life points. I'm more than double your life point total. Let's draw. That's the destruction jammer. I'm. I don't need that because Prime Material Dragon literally has the same effect. Magical Android, attack! That's a Spirit Reaper. Uh, I can't actually do anything about this right now. Not that I mind too much. Once again, he's just stalling. He's just stalling while he... Uh, while he can get some, some uh, monsters together. <laughs> it won't help. I'm at 11,100 life points. Let's draw! There we go. Smashing Ground! Smashing Ground destroys a monster with the highest defense on the field. Now, let's direct attack. Magical Android! Okay. Wall of Revealing Light prevents me from attacking with a monster that's less than the number of life points he paid. He paid 3,000 life points, so none of my monsters can attack, basically, until I get rid of that wall. Ugh. Sorry, I'm still, I still have the cold that I had on Wednesday, from Wednesday's session. Birthright, face down. Again, can't attack, so I can't really do what, can't really do much right now. I'm getting further and further ahead. I now have. 
10,200 life points more than this guy. Come on, hurry up. Stalling isn't going to help you. Draw! Hmm. I might as well. Mystic Swordsman, level 4, face down in defense mode. Wish it had been an ancient gear engineer. The engineer is immune to the effect of trap cards when attacking. Not just they can't be activated while it's attacking. It's actually immune to its effects. That's a tribute. Flamble feet. Flamble baby. Let's have a look at this. Flamble baby. During the main phase, activate this card by setting it in the hand in the graveyard. Select one fire monster on your side of the field gains 400 attack points. This card does battle damage, it does damage equal to the number of pyrotype monsters in your grave times 200. Hmm. It actually has more attack points than my monster now. That's a problem. Okay, Prime Material Dragon's now gone. And Flamble Fiend's special ability deals me damage for every um, pyrotype monster in my opponent's graveyard. So, draw! This is useless to me. I can't do anything with it. I'm switching Magical Android face into defense mode and playing Fossil Tusker face down. I might as well put Destruction Jammer down. I can't do anything against this fiend until uh, until I can attack again, basically. Not that uh, not that he's actually going to do a lot to me. He only has one monster that's powerful. Also, hang on. No, his monster is that's a permanent power boost. Yeah, in that case, I was right to switch. I forgot to check. Oh well. Come on, hurry up. Right, let's draw. Defense draw. Hmm. I can't attack. The fact that I can't attack means that makes this completely pointless. Heavy storm. Interesting choice. But okay. He's just destroyed his wall as well as his own torrential tribute to get rid of all the face downs they had out. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, just taking Fossil Tusker out. That's okay, that's okay. Oh well. What can I get on my next draw? Backfire. Uh, oh well. Ooh, I see ya. I play a face down. And then I. Hmm, I flip my Mystic Swordsman level 4 into attack mode. And I'm going to attack one of your face down monsters. My Mystic Swordsman's ability prevents your your monsters from being flipped face up. And its ability is cancelled. No. This was... Uh, it, any, any monster's abilities that say destroyed by battle aren't, aren't activated by Mystic Swordsman's ability because it was destroyed by an ability, by an effect, rather than by battle. Flamble Archer. Um, oh Jesus, <laughs> that's not cool. 800 more attack points, oh no. This doesn't bother me. Enemy controller! Enemy controller allows me to switch the mon one monster to defense mode. It has a second, a second optional effect, but I'm not going to use it because this effect is better. Okay, interesting. Damn. 
doesn't help me at all. I'll play it face down. Palomlo in face down defense mode. And then, Mystic Swordsman attacks Flamble Fiend. Because Flamble Fiend's defenses are. Let's just put it shit. Then, uh, my monster's actually strong enough to take it out, despite the fact that it's a, it's a high level monster. Now what, my friend? Now what? You have no monsters left, and you have no spell and trap cards. You have one spell and trap spell and trap card to protect you, and it won't be enough. 900, 200, let's go! I'll also summon Kaiser Seahorse, just in case one of your face downs prevents one of my attacks. Palomlo, attack! 200. And Mystic Swordsman attack. Dimension Wall, okay. Doesn't bother me. You've got. You're going to end up with 200 life points, and I have three monsters on the field. Now leave, you stupid stalling jerk. I've already beaten you once today. My audio recorder didn't, didn't pick up the sound, so I had to redo this. Not that that bothers me too much, but hey. <laughs> It's a little annoying to have my efforts wasted. Draw! That's a Sekiretsu armor. Well, looks like uh, Palomlo gets the uh, <laughs> the dubious honor of being the uh, the final attacker. There we go. I beat you. I beat you. You're uh, you weren't too difficult, really. You just you just need to deal this guy carefully. Once you know what you're up against, you can plan your strategy ahead of time. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. As I said, I've already dueled the guy once, so... <laughs> twice. I've already dueled the guy twice, so I know pretty much what he does. But, I'm going to cut the video here. I'll see you guys next time, when we... Hopefully I'll have um, dueled all of these guys again four more times, or in the case of Hild, uh, three more times, and thus we'll have unlocked a bunch of uh, World Championship duelists. Then I'm probably either going to start working through the uh, World Championship duelists, or head into that new area south of the uh, starting area of Satellite. Probably going to be the World Championship duelists though, because I need money, and that's really the quickest way to get it. It's just dueling loads of dudes. So, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye everybody.